हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व मॉडल टेस्ट पेपर ऑफ साइंस फॉर टर्म टू एग्जामिनेशन विच इज इशूड बाय पंजाब स्कूल एजुकेशन बोर्ड सो दिस क्वेश्चन पेपर विल कंसिस्ट्स ऑफ थर्टी फाइव मार्क्स एंड नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट पार्ट ए पार्ट ए विल कंसिस्ट ऑफ फोर क्वेश्चन ऑफ टू मार्क्स ईच so let's start our first question first question is describe characteristics and uses of coke now first of all let's see characteristics of coke coke is tough porous and black in color and its uses are it is used in the manufacture of steel it is used in the extraction of metals as a reducing agent next question is list sources of noise pollution in your surroundings noise pollution sources are bus and car horns fire crackers and loud speakers high volumes in televisions and dj etc sound of kitchen appliances sirens from factories our next question is prepare a list of objects around you that are electroplated the objects which are electroplated are taps of water connection parts of bicycle body of cars motorcycle and tractors handles of the doors our next question is name two objects other than planets which are members of the solar system so its answer is satellites and asteroids are the objects that are the members of solar system other than planets so now we come to our next part that is part b part b will consist of five questions of three marks each so let's start our first question rana wants to buy shirts for summer should he buy cotton shirts or shirts made from synthetic material advise rana giving your reason so its answer is rana should buy shirts made from cotton this is because cotton is a good absorber of water it absorbs the sweat coming out of our body and exposes it to the environment thereby cooling our body next question is a pendulum oscillates 40 times in 4 seconds find its time period and frequency so we can find time period and frequency of oscillating pendulum as number of oscillations in 4 seconds is 40 and number of oscillations in 1 second will be 40 by 4 that is 10 therefore frequency of pendulum f is equal to 10 hertz now its time period will be is equal to 1 by f or 1 by 10 so its time period will be 0.1 second next question suggest three measures to protect ourselves from lightning so we can protect ourselves from lightning by following steps do not use tv or cable phone during lightning stay indoors or under covered area don't take bath during lightning next question what is a constellation name any two constellations so what is constellation the stars forming a group that has a recognizable shape is called constellation for example 
ओरसा मेजर एंड ओरियन नाउ वी कम टू अवर नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन वट आर द डिफरेंट वेज इन विच वॉटर गेट्स कॉन्टेमिनेटेड फॉलोइंग आर द वेज बाय विच वॉटर गेट्स कॉन्टेमिनेटेड नंबर वन पीपल डिस्पोज ऑफ गार्बेज इन द वॉटर नंबर टू मैनी इंडस्ट्रीज डिस्चार्ज देयर हार्मफुल केमिकल्स डायरेक्टली इन टू रिवर्स एंड स्ट्रीम्स नंबर थर्ड केमिकल फर्टिलाइजर्स पेस्टिसाइड्स एंड वीडिसाइड्स यूज इन एग्रीकल्चरल प्रैक्टिस गेट डिजॉल्व इन वॉटर एंड आर वॉश्ड अवे इन टू वॉटर बॉडीज फ्रॉम द फील्ड्स फोर्थ पॉइंट इज अनट्रीटेड सीवेज इज डायरेक्टली डिस्चार्ज इन टू वॉटर फ्रॉम हाउस होल्ड एक्टिविटीज now we come to our next part that is part c part c consists of three questions of four marks each and there will be internal internal choice in these questions so let's see our first question explain the process of formation of petroleum so how petroleum is formed dead organisms that got buried in the sea millions of years ago got covered with layers of sand and clay due to lack of air high temperature and high pressure these dead organisms got transformed into petroleum and natural gas so our next question in this optional choice uh, optional question is describe how coal is formed from dead vegetation what is this process called so its answer is dense forests got buried under the soil due to natural processes millions of years ago more and more soil got deposited over them and they got compressed more this led them to get exposed to a very high temperature and pressure they slowly got converted into coal under these extreme conditions the whole process of formation of coal from dead vegetation is known as carbonization now we come to our next question our next question is what are the sex hormones why are they named so state their function so what are sex hormones the chemical substances produced by the sex organ are called sex hormones they are named so because they control the sexual activities and are secreted by males and females separately so our first sex hormone is estrogen this hormone is responsible for the development of secondary sexual characters in females like enlargement of breasts development of female reproductive organs etc our next sex hormone is testosterone this hormone brings the secondary sex characters in boys such as the growth of beard the voice becomes harsh development of the reproductive organs etc so our next question is define adolescence the period of life when the body undergoes changes leading to reproductive maturity is called adolescence the period of adolescence is normally 11 years to 19 years our next question is what is menstruation explain so its answer is what is menstruation the cyclic flow of blood and mucus along with inner lining of uterus in case of not fertilization of egg from the female body is called menstruation each month uterus prepares itself to receive the fertilized egg 
If fertilization do not occur, the inner lining breaks away and comes out through vagina for three to five days. Now we come to our next question. Our next question is: The bulb does not glow in the setup shown in figure. List the possible reason. Explain your answer. Now we see this setup, and in this setup, bulb is not glowing. What might be the possible reasons? So its answer is: The bulb may not glow because of the following reasons. Liquid in the beaker. may be non conducting the battery may be exhausted and does not have sufficient energy to generate electricity the bulb may be fuse and or connections may be loose so these may be the possible reasons that the bulb does not glow in the setup shown in the figure so our next question is in case of a fire before the firemen use the water hoses they shut off the main electrical supply for the area explain why they do this so why the firemen shut off the main electrical supply so its answer is water usually contains salts and conducts electricity if the electrical supply is not cut off and firemen come in contact with the wet electric switches electric wires and other electrical appliances he can get electric shock so this is the reason that why in case of fire before the firemen use the water hoses they shut off the main electrical supply for the area so students today we have solved board sample paper of class 8th which is issued by punjab school education board hope all of you have understood all these questions and i hope that all of you will prepare best for your board examination so thanks for watching our video